I was fired at several times. Daily we were fired at. Ben Prakash is a veteran Indian journalist. He is the founder and chairman of ANI, Asian News International. I started going to Pandeji's house. That big men have big things to say. They don't see them from the eye. They don't hear them from the eye. Pandeji came at about 4 o'clock or 4.30 o'clock. Whatever time it was. So I was introduced. Pandeji looked at me. And all he told them was, Jan Rukhwes ka. How close, like realistically, how close did you get to combat? Oh, oh. You saw the eyes in front of your eyes. Of course, yes. We were running through the firing range. Afghanistan ki kitab hai mere paas. Achha. Mai mai dikhata hoon aapko abhi usme ek tasveer hai. Okay. Where where my car has been hit by bullets. They handed over the bodies to government of India on the day of Pandit's birthday. Dead bodies were their gift to the prime minister. They are such bloody cruel fellows. Kya le dosto? Swagat hai aapka ek aur episode of Dost Cast pe. मेरा नाम है विनम्र कसाना मैं इस पॉडकास्ट को होस्ट करता हूं और हमारे एपिसोड्स हर ट्यूसडे एंड फ्राइडे 12 बजे इंडियन सैनड टाइम के हिसाब से यूट्यूब पर और और प्लेटफॉर्म से पब्लिश होते हैं ये कारण है आपका सब्सक्राइब बटन को दबाने का और हमसे जुड़े रहने का ताक, ताकि आपको आज जैसी बहुत सारी और कॉन्वर्सेशन सुनने का और देखने का मौका प्राप्त हुए अब ये मेरा बहुत बड़ा सौभाग्य है कि जो हमारे आज के गेस्ट हैं वो शायद इस पॉडकास्ट की हिस्ट्री पर सबसे वेटरन एज के हैं यानी कि ही इज अबाउट टू टर्न 93 थ्री इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी माई गेस्ट फॉर टूडे इज प्रेम प्रकाश हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ एशियन न्यूज इंटरनेशनल आप इसको ए एन आई के नाम से भी जानते हैं एंड आजकल स्मिता होस्ट द वंडरफुल ए एन आई पॉडकास्ट तो उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की जो स्थापना करी थी वो इन शख्स ने करी थी इन जेंटलमैन ने करी थी और इन्होंने नेहरू से लेके वाजपेयी मोदी तक हर प्रधानमंत्री का या तो डायरेक्टली इंटरव्यू कराए या उनके साथ इंटरेक्शन करिए आप इमेजिन कर सकते हो कि एक 93 थ्री ईयर्स के इंसान की जो सूझबूझ होगी जो देश को लेके जो पर्सपेक्टिव होगा जो वर्ल्ड लीडर्स के साथ उठने बैठने से जो सीख मिली होगी वो कितनी ज़्यादा होगी तो मैं आज बड़े ही अर्नेस्टली बात बोलता हूँ कि मेरे पास शब्द नहीं थे जिस तरह की मेरे को बहादुर कहानियाँ सुना रहे थे इन अफगानिस्तान प्रेम प्रकाश जी वो शॉर्ट आट मल्टीपल टाइम्स when he was covering the wars in afghanistan the soviet invasion in afghanistan his book which i have right here it's called reporting india my 70 year journey as a journalist ye is chote se unke zindagi ke bahut lambe journalistic career ko darshati hai sath hi sath unki ek aur kitab hai aur iska naam hai afghanistan the quest for peace the path of wars aaj ki conversation ne mere ko jis tarah ki insights di na desh rajneeti politics ke bare mein itni lambi timeline It was like sitting with a live storyteller. It was like sitting with a live encyclopedia. एक पूरा infographic मेरे सामने बैठे हुए थे and he just dropped pearls of wisdom left and right. I sincerely think 2024 की अभी तक की best conversation है इस podcast पे और आपको खुद भी उनके तजुर्बे का इतना बढ़िया नमूना मिलेगा इस conversation के through. प्रेम प्रकाश जी का जन्म रावलपिंडी में हुआ था पाकिस्तान में इन्होंने दुनिया भर में ट्रैवल कराया है और ए एन आई को इंडिया की सबसे बड़ी टीवी एजेंसी बनाया ये पहले वो पत्रकार थे जिनको नेहरू को कवर करने के लिए बहुत छोटी एज पे प्रेस की एक्रेडेशन भी मिली थी ये तो एक छोटी सी चंद सी कहानी है ऐसी बहुत सारी आपको कहानियाँ सुनने को मिलेंगी इस पॉडकास्ट पे फिर आप भी बोलोगे वाह यार दोस्त कास्ट क्या नमूना करा इतने इतने महान शख्सियत को बुला के आई नो आज मेरी हाइपर बोल थोड़ी ज़्यादा हो रही है आज मैं थोड़ा ज़्यादा ही यू नो हिंदी के पूरी इस्तेमाल करके आपको बांध रहा हूँ इस चीज़ के अंदर बट कंसिडरिंग द डिग्निटी ऑफ द मैन आई थॉट ऑफ नो बेटर वे आई कुड इंट्रोड्यूस हिम So without much further ado the podcast with the legendary Prem Prakash begins in 3 2 1 aap sabse pehle to main bahut bada aabhari hu aapka ki aap you are at the at the juncture that you are in your life and you've interviewed so many people so many prime ministers so many heads of state and uske sath sath i think all of us are grateful to you for all standing on your shoulders uh, because you've set up a uh, एन इको सिस्टम जिसकी वजह से हम सब लोग इंटरव्यू कर पाए बड़ी हेल्थ टू बी ग्रेटफुल टू बी ऑल आई डेड वॉज माई जॉब ऑल आई डेड वॉज माई जॉब एंड इट्स अ डिफरेंट मैटर दैट द जॉब टू पी टू ऑल काइंड ऑफ प्लेस बट नंद लेस आई टू से बिकॉज आई थिंक मोस्ट पीपल डोट दिस यू आर बाई फार the oldest person who's been on this podcast. I I don't know whether uh, the, well that's that's for you to know. <laughs> But all I all I know is I've seen the last days of the british in india and uh, not many people have seen those so let's let's go right at the start aapne 19 ki age pe jab azad nahi tha bharat us time pe aapne apna career shuru kara us time pe aapne apne ek cousin ke sath apprentice kara 
और आपने बोला कि चलो मैं भी कैमरा पिकअप करता हूँ मैं भी लाइट्स काम करता हूँ और भिन्न भिन्न प्रकार के महात्मा गांधी नेहरू तीन चार और ऐसे किरदार थे जिनको आपने साक्षात पहली बार देखा ऐसे है दैट्स लेटर थिंग इट ऑल स्टार्टेड इन माई कॉलेज ओके आई वॉज पार्ट ऑफ दी आई वॉज ए वेरी एक्टिव स्टूडेंट वर्कर द स्टूडेंट यूनियन आई वॉज अमंग द फाउंडर्स ऑफ द नेशनल यूनियन ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया नेशनल स्टूडेंट्स यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया एन एस यू आई एन एस यू आई हाँ मतलब अमंग द फाउंडर्स ऑफ इट सो वी वर इन बॉम्बे एंड वेन आई केम बैक आई रोट ए रिपोर्ट विच वॉज वेरी मच लाइक बाई द प्रिंसिपल एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टाफ दैट बिगैन माई जर्नी एज ए जर्नलिस्ट that writing they okayed it and i also seemed to enjoy it and dusre baat ye tha ke mujhe i have always had a great knowledge or uh, interest in history and uh, whatever i was seeing and the college used to i was part of hindu college i was student of hindu college they used to encourage us to, uh, both in public speaking and also in writing and this and photography and uh, of course my father had a photographic store so uh, I learned photography there, enjoyed it, and uh, that's how I started my career. Mm. I enjoyed it, and so I thought I'll take this as a career. Although could have done anything because India was uh, when it became free, you could do anything. It was wide open. Bilkul, was there a sense of optimism in the country at that point? Absolutely, you decide whatever you want to do, and the opportunity was there. There was a whole group of ours in the uh, friends from the college. Somebody went into travel. Somebody went into something else, and we all did well. Growing up, आप की क्योंकि फादर की फोटोग्राफी की दुकान थी, तो किस तरह के लोग कैमरा खरीदने आते थे? Because I'm sure हर इंडियन अफोर्ड नहीं कर पाता होगा. Was it like all the elites या कोई शौकीन लोग होते थे? ऐसे है कि जैसे आज की डेट में भी it is the middle class or the upper middle class which affords these things. आते थे पर सस्ते कैमरे भी होते थे बारह बारह रुपए के वट वट इज वट इज नोन एज बॉक्स कैमरा सो दैट्स अ डिफरेंट दीज आर इंटरेस्टिंग कैमराज दो सिंपल ट्रेनिंग यूज टू बी कि सूरज आपके पीछे होना चाहिए सूरज की लाइट अगले आपके फेस के ऊपर होनी चाहिए और यू देख के टक कर दो आगे तस्वीर बन गई आई थिंक आई थिंक थिंग्स इज बिकम वे मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नाउ सो so you started at at that age and iske baad when did you get your first big break because aapne uh, atp jo agency thi unke sath aapne apni accreditation li and then you were invited to sort of spend time with uh, pandit nehru to aise hai ke ek to wo jo zamana tha un dino is tarah ki security nahi hoti thi jo ki aajkal ho gayi hai today the uh, security agencies think that everybody else around is going about is a possible assassin mm. that used to not be the attitude and uh, it is a very easy country kya kahun main easy when i say it is very easy country they said that koi as is tarah ke restrictions nahi thi so uh, when i got accredited I was at that time. I think I twenty plus or twenty one. Hmm. Book. I have no bias. Like how? Uh, about about that maybe. Huh. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, yeah, twenty two. So then, uh, naturally, when you created the government of India, you have a access up to the prime minister. At twenty two, uh, that young age. Yes, anybody once you are accredited. और उस जमाने में वो रोड नहीं थे ना तरह तरह के रूल के इतने साल एक्सपीरियंस होना चाहिए फिर ग्रेजुएशन मिलेगी फिर ये होगा फिर वो होगा एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस वाज लुक्ड आफ्टर ओनली बाय एन इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफिसर प्रेस इंफॉर्मेशन ब्यूरो व्हिच इज़ द ह्यूज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दीज डेज आई डोट नो वाई डू वी नीड सच एज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट ओनली हैड देर वॉज ओनली एन इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफिसर यूज टू लुक आफ्टर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफिस and i went to him that i wanted to uh, cover a day with the prime minister so he said okay i'll check out the attitude was positive maybe the british had just left mm. and those that training was different and uh, so uh, i got the permission so i went there it was all fun 
I was like this, you know, the young fellow, and uh, there were all these uh, Punjabis who were there. There are a lot of Punjabis there at the, that people, refugees who had come, whom Panditji had accommodated, like Bimla Sindhi and so on. I mentioned their names. So they welcomed me. So they said, better, better, wait. So I sat there, had a cup of tea. So Panditji came at about 4 o'clock or 4 30, whatever time it was. So I was introduced, Panditji looked at me. And all he told them was, Dhan Rukhu Iska. Hindi mein bola unhoon hai? Haan, haan, they were saying in Hindi mein they were saying. Arre, madlab, kyunki hum, hum aisa karte hai na, humare liye ab kya hai, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru ko hum log jantate hai, ki humne history books mein padha hai, Children's Day unke naam pe hai. Aaj kal jo hai, politically, bhoat sara log bolte hai, Nehru ne ye galti kari, wo galti kari. Aap to, you met the man, no? So I want to understand more. Haan. Dekhi, aise hai, galti kaun nahi karta? He was the first Prime Minister, don't forget that. Uh-huh. And uh, the greatest thing he has left with us, for which, I mean, I have criticized him for various things. It's not that I have not criticized him. The greatest thing he gave us was the effect of education, these IITs, he got the constitution through. Look at Pakistan. They couldn't get their constitution through. What did Jinnah achieve for Pakistan? An unstable country at best. Nothing. What did Nwab Zada Liaqat Ali Khan, who was the first prime minister, what did he get? He was shot dead. But our leaders, not only Pandit, there are other leaders too, like Bhavraj and the Prashad, it's all the, all the top leaders. <laughs> they worked hard and got us our constitution. Uh. And not only constitution, Panditji saw through three elections. And uh, those three elections have left Indian people with the habit of going to polls and knowing that this government belongs to us. This is this, uh, this is perhaps the single biggest achievement of him as prime minister. He could have, if he wanted to be a dictator like any other guys he is in Africa and so on, he could have he, he could have been one. Nobody could have stopped him. Maybe the army could have stopped him, but I, I don't know that. But uh, so that's that's it. Rest, all things are kai hai, tell you. What was he like as a man? Because you have spent time on his planes mein bhi time spent kara. You interviewed him several times. He's a gentleman. Gentleman? Gentle. Through and through? Absolutely. Look, one thing is that my attitude is always like this. All the Prime Ministers. They are like us, man. They are men of flesh and bone like me. And uh, sure, he has reached the office of the Prime Minister. I am not that. But I am into my own office where I am doing quite well. So why should I be uh, shy of my job and uh, cout out before him? Mm. So I used to treat them as, uh, to talk to them frankly, equally. Mm. And uh, I had very good relationship. I had very good relationship. And did you ever see him brooding or questioning something? Ki yaar, matlab, because aap, kyunki aap zamana badal gaya hai. Us time pe press or politics badi intimately chalte tha. <coughs> Peki, aise hai. There will be many things which I can't tell you. Of course. And which I won't. Because my father told me one thing. When I uh, was a graduate and I started going to Pandaji's house, that there are big people who are big things. They don't want to see them from the eyes. They don't want to hear them from the eyes. Let's go. You wrote something in your book. You wrote Governments don't run by force, they run by majesty. I think this line was very powerful. I think that in today's time, when we talk about politics and transparency, you are talking about an entirely different era. I would love for you to comment on that more. Look, majesty means that how much government is going to be. If there is no government, people don't know what it is. Aaj ke police wale ki izzat bilkul nahi hai. Nahi hai. It is very unfortunate. Police is the one jo ke 
लॉ एंड ऑर्डर हर एक चीज़ मुल्क के अंदर कायम रखती है एंड इट इज़ वेरी वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट टुडे इज पुलिस पीपल आर आर्ग्यूइंग विद दैम अगर पुलिस वाला किसी को रोकता है बजाय इसके उस आदमी को कहे कि प्लीज़ कम आउट ऑफ द कार वो साहब ज़्यादा गाड़ी में बैठा है और उनसे बात कर रहा है वट इज़ दिस अरे ही इज़ दी अथॉरिटी यू कॉन्ट डिसरिस्पेक्ट अथॉरिटी लाइक दैट बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द पुलिस इज ऑल्सो बिकम लाइक दैट द होल थिंग हैज यू कॉन्ट ब्लेम पंडित जी फॉर दैट इट्स ए ओवरऑल ओवर ए पीरियड because the quality of politicians that we have seen emerge in various states and so on and law and order was handed over to the states which when the police went to the states mm. these politicians have made use of the police for their own ends and therefore with the justice khatam ho jati hai so you you come from a time when the police force was centralized it was centralized There was the, the British. Then after it became with the states, that's okay. But I, I read, the reason I press on about Nehru is because uh, there is nothing left of him for us to know about. Since you had direct audience with him at all times, <coughs> one of the one of the things I got to know was he ensured that the press is very well dressed, very well dressed, very well dressed, very well dressed, and uh, respect the profession. So in your interviews with him, what did you sort of say? That he was the same as the system. Tha. अंग्रेज के ज़माने से दैट यू इफ यू वेंट टू दिजिडेंट्स हाउस और वर्स लेस हाउस यू वेंट प्रॉपरली ड्रेस्ड इज नॉट ए बैड थिंग आई डोंट लाइक द आइडिया ऑफ दीज गाइज गोइंग अबाउट इन जीन्स वट द हेल इज दैट इट्स नॉट राइट यू आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टिंग द स्टेट यू आर नॉट रिस्पेक्टिंग द ऑफिस ऑफ द हेड ऑफ द स्टेट यू आर सीन दीज जनरल जर्नलिस्ट कैमरा मैन गोइंग देयर इन द प्रेजिडेंट्स हाउस एंड एल्सवेयर it's not right it's not right they should be properly dressed what you're saying makes sense but ab kya ho gaya na because the the profession is so democratized and the the idea of the journalist is someone who's representing the the public so much that they want to dress as meagerly as possible is uh, rubbish nobody has been, nobody was more on the field than i was okay today's journalists don't go on the field what do they do instead half the time i have known that people are writing एक दूसरे से पता कर लेते हैं क्या हुआ भाई क्या हुआ माय कवरेज वर ऑल इन द फील्ड ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड यू ट्रैवल थ्रू मेनी कंट्रीज एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर यू नेम इट डू एनी चैलेंजिंग स्टोरीज फ्रॉम कवरिंग द वर्ल्ड स्टैंड आउट यू देखिए सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज हो गया लेट्स गो बैक टू uh what should i where should i go back you were in afghanistan covering several wars oh to bahut bahut baat ki baat hai that the uh, first challenge came was in uh, 62 itself the indo china war so you can't cover indo china war by sitting in delhi or being in uh, tezpur you have to be inside और आपके पास कोई आर्म्स ट्रेनिंग कोई प्रोटेक्शन की अगर आप आई कुड बिन किल्ड और आई कुड बिन डेड मेनी अ टाइम्स हाउ क्लोज वर यू टू डेथ इन दिस 9662 वॉर इफ माय सेल्फ एंड जॉर्ज वर्गिस हु वाज देन द असिस्टेंट एडिटर ऑफ टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया वी हैड स्टेड बैक वी वर कवरिंग वी वर ऑन टॉप ऑफ सेला एंड वी आर कमिंग डाउन सो वी वी हेल्ड आवरसेल्व्स बैक अदर पीपल king went down to delhi to, towards the plains if we had been one hour late finished but the chinese march, army was marching on but they they had they, they had uh, uh outflanked us you know uh, we were sleeping in a valley the zong zong valley whatever valley it was where the divisional headquarter was so myself and george came out at night and then we saw some lights moving on top of the hill and uh, uh i asked george i said what could be that he said maybe prem they are uh, keeping a watch on our security around here i said don't you think it would also be somebody outflanking us or going over 
Uh, no, no, no. They, they must have been. Uh, my own feeling till today is that that was those were Chinese. They were outflanking us. और कॉन्टेक्स्ट के लिए आप लोग आर्मी के साथ ही जा रहे थे इंडियन आर्मी के साथ कोई हाँ। जैसे अब क्या होता है कि प्रेस को यूजुअली बैरिकेड कर देते हैं सेफ एरिया के अंदर सो यू आर इन द फील्ड राइट विद विद नो फायर आर्म ट्रेनिंग नो उसकी जरूरत क्या है लाइन ऑफ फायर में लाइन ऑफ फायर में आ गए वेपन इज दिस नॉट फायर आर्म आई डोंट नीड फायर आर्म हाउ क्लोज लाइक रियलिस्टिकली कितना क्लोज गए आप कॉम्बैट के गोलियां चलती हुई देखी हैं आपने अपनी आंखों के सामने सिचुएशन इन कश्मीर वन हैज सीन सो मच नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन ऑफ बांग्लादेश ऑल दैट वट पाकिस्तान डिड देयर नाउ यू कुंड कवर what was happening in east pakistan by sitting in calcutta so i had to cross into uh, east pakistan myself and my colleague uh, durgadar chatterjee illegally and uh, the deal used to be between two of us There's not a deal but i used to tell him durga i'll be quiet all the time because i was a punjabi mm. and we were entering east east bengal and bengalis were Wanting to kill any Punjabi, it made no difference to them whether they were a Hindu Punjabi or a Muslim Punjabi, because they were being bashed by these uh, West Pakistan Punjabis. So it's not that I was I was very very close many a times many a times. One day, it's a uh, we had uh, crossed it what was South Kira, so there's a place there you will not know the town, but. Uh, We reached there, and the local guy who was guiding us took us straight to the bloody police station to get you caught. No, just to see. And, and I looked at him. I said, "You're the first guy who's here." But anyhow, luckily the police officer in charge of the thana was a Bihari, hmm. Urdu speaking, who was about to be killed by his constables. इस लेवल की बगावत चल रही थी इस इस सब वो दो सौ रोल बंगाली अच्छा बस दिस इज नॉट द एंड द नेक्स्ट स्टेज इज वेयर वी वर खुलना से उर्ली तरफ साव इलाका वॉज द ओनली एरिया विच आर सेंट ए मुस्लिम लीग एम एल ए टू दाकिस्तान असम्बली फ्राम ईस्ट पाकिस्तान हम उसके घर पहुँच गए और अब they thought that we were the advance party of uh, indian army so us jab unne pucha to maine yes they they are coming very soon to unhone hame gaadi de di i said i want to go towards the khulna bridge so i said i'll i'll take care of you guys so we'll uh, we went towards there and uh, i took out my camera There were a lot of people coming there. Only up to half raised got there because they thought I was going to kill them, shoot them, because that that's the way the, the, the Pakistan army was doing. Anyhow, we managed to come back from there somehow or the other. मैं तो आज की जर्नलिस्ट कुछ नहीं करते फिर आपकी बात सुनके मेरे को ऐसा लग रहा है. भाई इसके इस, इसके अलावा चारा क्या था जब मेरे जब मुझे कहा गया इट्स माय एरिया ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर विज न्यूज दैट टाइम बट इज़ नाउ रॉयटल्स टेलीविजन एंड के इट्स इज़ माय एरिया ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो आई सेड हाउ डू आई कवर दिस ब्लडी थिंग यूजुअली आई फ्लाई एंड दैट टाइम आई टू के ट्रेन टू कैलकटा बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू डू सम थिंकिंग ऑन द वे So uh, Durga Das Chatterjee met me, and I said, "Dada, ki holo me." Let's do it, meeta. Just think what we're going to do. So we said, "Let's first go to Benapol. Let's go to the border and see what the hell is going on there." That's how the story begins. I don't think today's journalists are so experienced that they have 
इस लेवल की फील्ड रिपोर्टिंग नहीं करी होगी एट बेस्ट आजकल ह्यूमन इंडा स्टोरी ज्यादा कवर होती है आजकल ह्यूमन इंडा स्टोरी ज्यादा होती है फील्ड में फिर भी लोग जाते हैं बट क्या आपने चलो ये तो एक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हो गया आर देर अदर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्ट्राइक आउट यू दैट that you where you could have lost your life or where the stakes are very very uh, high afghanistan kashmir itself on many occasions hmm. and what were afghanistan and kashmir ye, ye years kaun se hain jab aap inko cover kar rahe ho ha ji ye years kaun se hain kaun se saalon mein aap cover kar rahe ho different have you can see that in the book throughout okay as as it happened but uh, i had no problem in the sense that uh, uh, you have to yourself take as much precaution as you can then you have to take knowingly you know what risk you are taking and how do the afghans receive you ab hota hota kya hai ke kehne ko these western media bade apne aap ko kehte hain ke wo hain ye very friendly they are there they are that see if you were in kabul and uh, i'm not talking of the age of uh, satellites and so on they had set up a satellite dish in uh, the hotel and it was being used by everybody this was set, this was set up by itn itn of uh, london okay and uh, bbc was also using it now i had a right to use bbc uh, thing but they wouldn't let me use it because my material was not available to them mm they wanted proprietary access to it mm-hmm. so why should i give them the access why should i give them the access to magar risk nahi lete to magar jaate nahi marte aage field mein nahi jaate coverage nahi karke laate to maro phir bbc was of course very happy ab bbc ko bhi dikkat ho gayi to maine unko kehta don't worry i would travel through the war zone unaccompanied every day no with my uh, driver hmm. unaccompanied otherwise i wouldn't take my other colleagues no i wouldn't even even take my sound man with me hmm. to go to the afghan television center in kabul to be able to satellite send my uh, video from there hmm. and uh, was it all run by uh, rebels i was fired at several time daily we were fired at we were running through the uh, firing range and uh, I, is there a photograph there in that book of uh, my yahan pe aapki ek afghanistani mere khayal se president ke sath photo hai ye wahi hai ya najibullah of afghanistan in his kabul office de wo hai ek minute ha ha ye hai with cameraman arun kapoor अफगानिस्तान की किताब है मेरे पास अच्छा मैं दिखाता हूँ आपको अभी उसमें एक तस्वीर है इंडियन एम्बेसडर्स हाउस वॉज बैंग अपोजिट टू दी टेलीविजन सेंटर इन काबुल सो अब वापस तो जा नहीं सकते दिस होल थिंग इज वेरी बैड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द डे सो आई वुड वॉक अक्रॉस एंड स्लीप स्लीप देयर एट इज हाउस एंड शो वुड बी माई ड्राइवर देयर एंड नेक्स्ट डे दैसडर हिमसेल्फ हु टू थ्री एम्बेसडर्स आई हैड कम अक्रॉस देयर who would drive me back to the uh, hotel the good people through the war zone no so to unki gaadi ko to chhed nahi sakta na us time pe bhi wo ah, cheez thi wo mandates the they they unki gaadi ko to chhed nahi sakta na no but aise bhi abhi bhi ke reports aate hain na ki ambassador ki gaadi ko bomb kar diya wo to ab jab zamana bhi to fir bol raha hai na but uh, we we had, we had no problem there so or they had no problem there or, or they were confident that nothing will happen so anyhow that's how uh, one was very close to uh, so uh, i'm lucky that what that i am around i mean i'm just blown away by these stories mai kabhi aapko afghaniyon ne bandi banane ki koshish nahi ki ya kabhi aapki aapsi 
تعلقات ایسے نہیں بیٹھے آمنے سامنے دیکھیے ایسے ہے افغانس آر ویری کلوز ٹو انڈینس بہت سائڈس از ناٹ دیٹ افغانس آر ناٹ کلوز ٹو انڈین افغانس آر ویری فرینڈلی ود انڈینس افغان ہیٹ پاکستانی از اونلی وائز دیٹ ہیٹ دے کرتے ہیں ان کو ویل آئی ایکسپلین ٹو یو لیٹر تو آئی ہیڈ نو پرابلم ود دیم ایبسولی نان افغانی پریزیڈنٹ جو یہاں پہ کتاب میں لکھا نجیب اللہ جی یوز ٹو بی دی ہیڈ آف دی افغان سیکورٹی اوکے سو ان نائنٹین سیونٹی نائن وین دی سوویٹ ٹرپس رائڈ دیر اینڈ آئی لینڈیڈ Uh, the entrenchment of Soviet troops there landed and so on and so forth. Suddenly, my sound man, who himself was a very great cameraman of his own time, he tells me, Premji, I think you have missed some close-ups or something. So I said, okay, Bethany, we'll uh, take another round. We took the round. As I took the round, I could see from a distance that Some troops have moved into the middle of the road. So immediately I knew what had happened. Mm. I immediately took out the film, put it separately, and closed it. So we were uh, arrested by the Soviets, taken to the Soviet camp. Anyhow, I was able to tell them, we are Hindustani, but don't, don't misbehave. It was all snow and this ground was ice. My dear colleague Mehta Ji used to, uh, was originally from Kashmir. So he said, Prem Ji, khade bat hona, chalte rehna. Because they want, these guys want, humare pair jo hain, frost bite ho jai. Aapka is appropriate protection nahi thi winter ke liye? Huh? Appropriate protection nahi thi winter ke liye? Jute sab te, jute ho sab te, but, but you need far more. Mm-hmm. Itni nahi hoti bhai, kaam karna hai. I'm not there for to گانے نہیں گا رہا میں اب کام کرنے جا رہا ہوں میں سو اینی ہاؤ سو آفٹر دے دے فائنلی دے گاٹ اچھا دوسرے عجیب بات تھی کہ وہ میرا پاسپورٹ دیکھا تو کہہ لیں گے اس سے پہلے انہوں نے مجھے پوچھا تھا یو میرڈ نے کہا ہاں یو وائف ہاں اور وہ میرے پاسپورٹ کے اوپر وائف یوں کٹی ہوئی تھی جس کی اوریجنل انڈین پاسپورٹ ہسبینڈ اینڈ وائف کوڈ کیری اے ون پاسپورٹ اور دونوں کی تصویر لگتی تھی بٹ یو کوڈ گیٹ ٹو پاسپورٹس آلسو سو وی بوتھ ہیڈ آور اون اون پاسپورٹس سو نیچرلی ان مائی پاسپورٹ دی وائف تو میں کہا بھیا آئی کرس مائی سیل میں کہا اب اس وجہ سے میں مرا جاؤں آج تو اتنا بڑے ظلم ہو جائے گا یار یہ کیا کہہ میں دوسرا پاسپورٹ دلا دیا وہ تھا دوسرا پاسپورٹ تو ہوتا ہی ہے نا بیکاز دین وی کین ٹریول انڈیپینڈنٹلی اینی وے تو تھوڑی دیر میں فور فائیو بلیک لیموزنس اور آئی دیر ایٹ دا سوویت کیمپ ایٹ دا کیمپ بیکاز دے دے انفارم دیم دا دیز آر انڈینس سو دے آر دے ور ناٹ گو ڈو اینی تھنگ ٹو ایس اینڈ دے ہیڈ کل ٹو پیپل آر لیئر ایٹ دا سیم کیمپ ڈونٹ ویٹ دا سیم کیمپ آلسو بٹ سوویٹ ہیڈ کل دیم اینڈ آر پیپل ان دی ہوٹل ور وریڈ کہ یہ پریم پرکاش اس کا ساؤنڈ مین ایڈیٹ فرام رائٹرز آلسو ود می اینڈ اس بے وقوف کو میں نے کہا تھا نوٹ مت لکھیو ٹرائی ٹو ریمبر نوٹس مت لکھیو بٹ یو نو سب رپورٹرز ہیو دیٹ ڈسٹ ہی ہیبٹ ان کو نوٹ ضرور چاہیے یاد رکھنے کے لیے میموری خراب ہوگی اور کیا ہونا ہے اینی ہاؤ تو ایچ ون آف واز پٹ ان کار or uh, we were uh, taken to the head office of Khad. Khad was the notorious uh, intelligence agency. And uh, Najibullah at that time was the deputy of it. A Soviet fellow was the head of it. So we went to his, 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 میں کہا آپ اپنے دوستوں کو کہیے کہ ہمارے کیمرے کے سامنے آئے نہیں 
ہم جہاں کیمرہ اٹھاتے ہیں یہ سامنے کھڑے ہیں اب ہم کیا کریں بتائیے میرے کا اچھا تھی گیرے گیرے کہ مسٹر پرکاش آئی ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو سی یو اگین آئی سر آئی آلسو ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو کم ہیئر اگین سو وی پارٹیڈ ایز شک اینڈ دین وی پارٹیڈ تو دین ہی یوز ٹو کم ریگولرلی جسٹ ٹو کیپ این آئی آن وٹ واز گوئنگ آن ان دی کانٹیڈینٹل ہوٹل اینڈ آل دس فارن جرنلس سو آن اینڈ وی وڈ سیٹ فار اے ڈرنک اور سو ایس ہاؤ وی بیکیم ویری گڈ فرینڈس اینڈ ہی لیٹر آن بیکیم دی پریزیڈنٹ واؤ سو جو ایک چیز ہوتی ہے ایٹ سم پوائنٹ آئی ریمبر ریڈنگ این انٹرویو آن لائن کسی نے جب آپ کی کتاب آئی تھی تب کسی نے آپ کا آن لائن انٹرویو کرا تو انہوں نے کہا کہ آپ کیونکہ خود جرنلسٹ تھے لیکن سارے ہیڈز آف اسٹیٹ کے ساتھ آپ کے بڑھیا سمبن تھے تو کچھ لوگ تو اس کو ایسا مانتے ہیں کہ یار جرنلسٹ کے اتنے اچھے سمبند تھوڑی ہونے چاہیے ہیڈز آف اسٹیٹ کے ساتھ کیوں نہیں ہونے چاہیے کیونکہ لوگ سوچتے ہیں جرنلسٹ کا ادھیکار ہے دن جنتا کو چوبیس گھنٹے سچ بتانا تو میں تو سچی تو میں نے سچ بتایا میں نے جھوٹ کہاں بتایا ہے مجھے بتائیے کون سا جھوٹ تھا کتاب پڑھیے جی بتاؤ کون سا جھوٹ تھا اس کے اندر نہیں نہیں میں یہ نہیں کہہ رہا کہ جھوٹ تھا میں کہہ رہا ہوں کہ نہیں نہیں وہ جو لوگ ایسے بولتے ہیں نا جی دے آر اے فیلیئر دیم سیلس میں نے آپ کو ابھی میں نے ابھی آپ کو کیا کہا تھا پہلے کہ میری نگاہ میں میں بھی ویسا انسان ہوں جیسے پنڈت جی تھے جی وہ بزرگ تھے میرے بڑے تھے مجھے ان کی بزرگ ہندو یا اپنے ہندوستانی کلچر کے مطابق ان کی اس طرح سے عزت کرتی ہیں ہم نے عزت کی جی اور انہوں نے بھی مجھے پیار دیا پورا دیٹس دی ریلیشن شپ دس ہاؤ ڈیولپس یہ وہ چیز نہیں ہے کہ اب میری ہر ایک کے ساتھ کیسے ڈیولپ ہو گئی ہے بیکاز آئی یوز ٹو ڈاکٹ ٹو دیم ایکول یس ود رسپیکٹ بٹ ناٹ دیٹ آئی واز افریڈ آف واسکنگ سم تھنگ نو and they also appreciate that i can tell you that so one too many people treat them as uh, something gods. Uh, gods above no they're not so at some point jab uh, indira gandhi or uh, nehru jab indira gandhi became the president of the indian national congress and nehru was the prime minister of the country تو اندرا گاندھی اسینڈ کر رہی تھیں تو آپ نے کتاب میں لکھا کہ نہرو یوز ٹو سے کہ آئی ڈونٹ ٹو ہیو بریک فاسٹ ود مائی ڈاٹر ایوری مارننگ کانگریس پریزیڈنٹ ایوری مارننگ رائٹ یو آر ادر تھنگس ٹو ٹین ٹو سو وٹ واز دیٹ ٹرانزیکشن لائک ایٹ دیٹ پوائنٹ آفٹر نہرو ایڈ اوور سین دا چائنا تھنگ اینڈ چائنا ٹو ڈو دیٹ دوسرے میں آئی ووڈ گیو certain amount of doubt, uh, certain amount of uh, leeway in the sense that certain things should be done by the bureaucracy. Mm. For example, when Pandaji recognized Tibet, the bureaucracy should have known what it means. Because when you recognize China, and you said Tibet is part of it, you have brought the Chinese border on to India. Chinese borders were not on to India. Tibetan borders were on to India. And with Tibet, our relations were very friendly, the brotherly relations. We had no problem. It was a peaceful border. So, and also, that border in the dark, was under the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir. Huh. Again, he had no, no need to patrol it. But when we decided to recognize and give up the... Uh, Tibet almost lost its uh, independence because of our recognition. Now, this is one thing which I have... My reservation with Panditji on that score. But uh, the simple fact is... There was no patrolling done of the dock, borders of the, of the dock and the border. It came to light when suddenly we found in an international magazine somewhere that uh, Chinese had built a road on XY chain. This This is where, the, if you've studied the whole thing between right. the generations, this is where it starts getting bad. Hmm. 
what what panji had done introduced china to the world for that better aur ek to hamari kamzori hai hindustaniyon ki maine kai dafa kaha hai public meeting mein bhi kaha hai jab i have been invited that i don't know why we indians have some soft corner for chinese now we don't are nahi yaar ab bhi kahe kuch log khana to theek hai but wo bhi indian chinese cuisine hai there's not chinese cuisine i know i know i know so anyhow but i agree with you now we don't have that kind of relationship but we to do some to the world and uh, not realizing ab jab ye baat ho gayi ab aapne patrolling shuru kar di jab patrolling shuru kar di to you should have been careful you knew they have the road you knew they will be there it's a failure of not pandit ji it's a failure of the administration the bureaucrats the ias defense all these people is their failure police abo police ki ek party gayi chinese un ambush kar diya no mare gaye unme se is hai so likha maine sara you know what they handed over the bodies to government of india on the day of pandit ji's birthday they are such bloody cruel fellows it was his birthday as it was as though the dead bodies were their gift to the prime minister so when pandit ji left office and indira gandhi ascended to the prime ministership of the country i was told that ki she had a very prickly and unfriendly relationship with the media to start with but as time went on what was it like interviewing with her working with her aise hai ki she was succeeded by lal bahadur shastri ji pandit ji was succeeded by lal bahadur shastri sorry yeah not by uh, my apologies sirza gandhi lal bahadur shastri died unfortunately in the tashkent accident tashkent and long before we should have gone and she succeeded and uh, she succeeded uh several of the congressmen the old guys thought she will be playing into their heads oh. she had her own mind she had her own intelligence she was not uh, an ordinary kind of person so uh, the relationship deteriorated but as well as the relationship with the media is concerned no it is perfectly all right she used to handle the whole the press conferences the way pandit ji used to hold mm. everything was okay what you are talking about is the the emergency mm. that's a different story altogether that's a different story altogether to aapne unke sath nazdeek se kyunki kaam kara aapko unke bare mein aisi particularly kya qualities strike out kari as a leader kyunki hum log again <clears throat> we we refer to writing and a few videos to understand indira gandhi or nehru but since you worked up and close with these people again she was a great prime minister and uh, not a bad prime minister she was managing the country very well the biggest challenge that came to her if you study the long history of british rule in india you should sometime mm uh-huh. you will find no decade was free from famine नन कुछ ना कुछ होता ही रहा मतलब उनके पीरियड में हर एक डिकेड में फेमिन हुआ ही हुआ जहाँ तक मैंने कहीं कहीं पढ़ा था शायद मैं आई एम डूइंग अनदर बुक एट द मोमेंट एंड आई मैंशन इन दैट आई डोंट रिमेंबर इट ऑफ एंड आई थिंक ड्यूरिंग देयर पीरियड समथिंग लाइक फोर्टी वन फेमिन टक प्लेस इन इंडिया so many francis just died of hunger so much so much of exploitation of agriculture hamari agriculture jo tabah hui hai na mm-hmm. mughal followed by british period in two periods ke andar hamari agriculture ka bada garak hua hai mm-hmm. so anyway bihar had a terrible famine uh, drought and uh, there was a meeting held in the office of the uh, information secretary he was among the last of the ics officers shokmitra and uh, i was also called to 
I, I was the representative of his news, which was the biggest agency in the world at that time. So uh, anything happening in the known in the world what would be known through my eyes or my writings. So I was also asked, asked to come uh, attend the meeting. So all the top media barons of uh, government of India. There was not private tele television at that time or television apart from newspapers, private newspapers. So uh, each one of them turned around and said, "Seal Bihar." Don't allow anybody in. So I kept quiet. So Mr. Puchan, I said, sir, I'm sitting amongst uh, lords here virtually. These are my words. Hmm. They, 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 they are the media barons. But all I will tell you is, if you close Bihar, you will get such terrible publicity. Even if people don't are not able to go inside Bihar, they will say that you have something to hide. People are dying there. You are not letting them know. Okay. But from from what I understand from you is that the government is going to take such steps that not one person dies, unlike the British days. Even though to provide uh, uh, aid and assistance, you have had to pr promulgate the Famine Act. <laughs> In order to provide aid to the villagers, you had to pro uh, promulgate the Famine Act. Okay. Famine ho gaya ji. To ab inko chiza do kahin se. The fact is, uh, sir, that uh, she, how she managed as Prime Minister, what she did, not one person died in Bihar. It was a huge achievement. 1966 would have seen God knows how many deaths otherwise. Remember when Churchill during World War II did that in Bengal, five million Bengalis died. Yeah, he famously said, let them die. Yeah. But not one person died in Bihar. And thereafter, the way she went about... Uh, of course, she had to virtually beg, borrow the food and show that it, it was there. But then thereafter, the way she went about and the, uh, in getting the uh, things improved, we today produce food for 1.4 billion people and, and we are a net food exporting country. It's crazy how that has happened. So all these things are positive. और बाकी जो देश के अंदर उनके बारे में क्या राय चलती थी क्योंकि आप तो उनके वीडियो के भी प्रसारण करते थे उनके आप यू वुड सेंड हर न्यूज टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इस बार आर द वर्ल्ड परसी बिकॉज़ आई नो नेहरू वाज परसी वेरी पॉजिटिवली अकॉर्डिंग टू योर बुक ही वाज परसीव वेरी पॉजिटिवली अब्रॉड हाउ वाज इंदिरा गांधी परसीव्ड इन द कंट्री एंड अब्रॉड शी वाज अबाउट द फर्स्ट शी वाज आई थिंक द वेरी फर्स्ट वुमेन प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इन द वर्ल्ड इन द वर्ल्ड और वाज इट the, the the lady in Israel, I think she Indira Gandhi was first, and uh, she ran the country very well. This was unfortunate that she had to promulgate emergency, but she was not corrupt. ये हमारी खुशकिस्मत ही है कि हमारा कोई prime minister corrupt नहीं रहा. और आपने बाकी देशों के वो देखे उन्होंने करप्शन आपने देखी सब कोट कोट के कई मुल्कों में ओपन है पॉलिसीज बनती हैं जैसे कोई उदाहरण कई यहां भी हुआ है कई दफा यहां भी हुआ है कई दफा दैट दी बिग इंडस्ट्रियल हाउस विल सी के पॉलिसी क्योंकि उस जमाने में रिस्ट्रिक्शन थी ना इम्पोर्ट की इंडिपेंडेंट ट्रेड ट्रेड तो थी नहीं हाँ लिबरलाइजेशन नहीं हो रही थी लिबरलाइजेशन दिस वर्ड लिबरलाइजेशन इज वेरी स्टूपिड वर्ड आई थिंक और सीधी ट्रेड होनी चाहिए थी जैसी पहले थी रिमेंबर व्हेन द ब्रिटिश लेफ्ट रूपी वाज ए हार्ड करेंसी रूपी वॉज फुल्ली एक्सचेंजेबल रूपी वॉज अमंग द बेस्ट करेंसीज इन द वर्ल्ड स्टिल 
and we messed it up by irrelevant imports music system aa rahe hain ye cheeze aa rahi hain wo pucho mat paisa aur ud gaya par desh bhi to apne aap ko taste elevate kar raha tha quality of life badha raha tha wo quality life imports se badhti hai kya हालांकि पंडित जी बेचारे कहते थे बार बार के वी शुड बी सेल्फ रिलायंट सेल्फ रिलायंट पर एनी हाउ वी दीज थिंग्स हैपन एंड बाय एंड लार्ज आई वुड से इंदिरा यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंदिरा गांधी इंदिरा गांधी पीरियड वाज बारिंग एमरजेंसी ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग विच द पावर वेंट इन टू हर सन्स हैंड दैट वॉज अनफॉर्चुनेट आई वॉज अबाउट टू बी अरेस्टेड I was very lucky that the chief censor officer was a dear friend of mine, Henry Dipena. Chief censor officer? Hmm. Censorship करने के लिए officer था. Censor करने के लिए फिर भैया. It was a full-fledged censor uh, setup. You couldn't publish anything. You couldn't print anything. You couldn't send anything out unless the uh, censor uh, cleared it. So he uh, rang me and said, "Prem, we haven't had a meal for a long time." I said okay. So we went for lunch next day, Janpath Hotel. So I asked him straight away. I said, "Harry, you've been here now for almost three months. Other than first cup of tea when you arrived, we haven't even met. You have been so busy. How come suddenly you want you uh, ask me for lunch?" Then he tells me, "You have guessed it right. I want you to disappear." Mm. I said, "What have I done? Why should I disappear?" He said, "You have been at your people, that my other colleagues. I said, by now we were a small organization, mm. have been too smart for my people. You have done nothing wrong. Everything that you have uh, sent out or released here has been cleared by us. But my minister is." Uh, insisting that you should be arrested because they were these black leg journalists jo kambakht khud to kaam karte nahi the you see my view was yes emergency has been imposed okay there are rules there are laws of emergency we'll work within these laws we'll see how we can twist them to our advantage right and still keep reporting still keep reporting ab dusre log na kare agar aap na karo to mera kasoor to nahi hai na ha ab aap ja ke unko phir rote ho ja ke aap minister ke paas ke ji ye to prem prakash aur uske log jo hain how they are able to cover everything hamara to bada garg ho raha hai hamari to badnami ho rahi hai these are black leg indian journalists who were complaining against me So I asked him how soon. He said, "Prem, like yesterday, I have to leave the country with my wife within twenty-four hours." He said yesterday. <laughs> and then you returned once the emergency. Oh, it was, it was okay, and uh, uh, yeah, I returned. But but uh, one remembers those days, and uh, things were there. But uh, anyway. The problem was I hit the bottle because you like you mentioned in the book you like you liked doing a lot of hard work. So, bina kam kya khali ho gaye? No, but uh, I hit the bottle as I t- just so told you. So, uh, but then I was doing other things. Uh, but uh, but uh, I came. We came back after about three three months. We were abroad and uh, hmm. we managed to steadily come back. By that time, our telephone line had been cut. Telex line had been cut. There was no connection with the world outside. So I hope and pray that you guys never see any time like that, which I, have, which people like me have seen, and we have lived through it. I think every generation has their own specific set of tragedies that they never prepared for. ये ऐसी ट्रेजडी तो किसी को नहीं आएगी आज तक ना आई है आप सही में मानते हो अनप्रेसिडेंटेड था ये अनप्रेसिडेंटेड बिल्कुल अनप्रेसिडेंटेड था कहाँ है आजकल 
लोग दे कंप्लेन ए लॉट येस द प्रेजेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर डजेंट सेम टू होल्ड प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस इन सो ऑन बट दैट्स इज प्रेरोगेटिव दैट्स इज प्रेरोगेटिव दैट्स अ वे आई लुक एट इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल मनमोहन सिंह वाई डेंट ही गेट इलेक्टेड वाई डिड ही डिस्ट्रॉय द well well established norm that the prime minister of india should be elected he should come from uh, 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 as a mp hmm. he was a nominated prime minister he got his never elected to the upper house house of lords ka aadmi in england mein kabhi prime minister nahi banta hai house of commons ka banta hai our prime minister used to be always from uh, janta ke beech se uth ke aata hai uh, our prime minister used to be always from the uh, lok sabha lok sabha not from uh, uh, rajya sabha manmohan singh was from there why even deve gauda when he became the prime minister he contested election to be, to come to be to be elected rather than be he could have also uh, gone into rajya sabha and come there hmm. when gujral sahab was elected he also contested from jalandhar we had that tradition and then from there before we move to the heads of state again i wanted to ask you something haan ji jaise main dekhta hu hamare paas ये पॉडकास्ट है जैसे मैं इंटरव्यू करता हूं लोगों को और तीन चार और मेरे और दोस्त हैं अलग अलग हैं सेपरेटेड इंटरव्यू करते हैं आज अगर हम आप हम यू नो फॉरगेट आज का टेक्नोलॉजी है अगर बेर बोन्स बात करें हाउ कैन वन सेटअप एन एजेंसी टुडे हाउ कैन वन सेटअप अ नेटवर्क आपका यही यही जो आप कर रहे हैं यही नेटवर्क है नहीं पर आपने इतना बड़ा इस्टेब्लिश कैसे कर देखे ऐसे है कि ये टेक्स टाइम is i've not i've not uh, gone about it in uh, there were demands on me so it's got established desh bhar mein duniya bhar mein patrakaron ke sath is tarah ke rishte banana ki har taraf news aap bhej rahe hain aur news unse aapke paas aa rahi hai ye dekhiye aise hai ki kuch log aapke paas bhi aate hain ji and the, i was known around the world so they would come straight to uh, if anybody arrived in delhi they would come to me even if not to uh, seek my help but to help in otherwise this information is one journalist to the other journalist so it's not that there's nothing you uh, always kept your doors open uh, yeah why not and uh, uh, no there's nothing great in uh, setting up you can do that anybody can do that no you say it like it's a common place thing but it it's really when you did viz news it was the first global tv agency you see then it's like this there was a, there were a number of us together and uh, the those days when the days of the news reels hmm news reels were dying away television news was coming up so there was there were there were two gentlemen uh, tony white and kenneth dick they led us in setting this up and they managed to get money from uh, bbc cbc abc australia and so on common health organizations so that uh, we give, we could give service to them because you need money hmm in order to do that agency koi profit pe nahi chalti hai it takes time before you can you got subscribers subscribers of who will pay you for your service hmm. so it was not easy for uh, viz news to uh, uh, that was the model that's all i can say now the reason i asked is because it also is a you know world of relationships aur kya aapne apne aap ko globally itna valuable kaise banaya ki log aapke paas aaye Yes, <laughs> you are valuable now in your own right. No, no, I know. I'm just trying to extract some wisdom, ताकि मैं उसका इस्तेमाल कर पाऊँ अपने निजी फायदे के लिए. आपके तो जो भी. आपको बता दिया ना. You you are valuable in your own right. Smita is valuable in her own right. जी. It's it's just that. How uh, you you guys are lucky that you have your own uh, podcast going. 
We didn't, I didn't have anything like that. I didn't have anything like that. I could only provide raw material. So, uh, that you will have to... Uh, Figure out. Uh, okay, okay, fair. So, we moved from the Indira Gandhi years, um, after her untimely assassination, to her son, Rajiv Gandhi, right? And of course, my standard question then is, उनके साथ काम करने का आपका क्या एक्सपीरियंस रहा देखिए ही वॉज ए वेरी ग्रेट मैन आई वेरी हाई रिस्पेक्ट फॉर हिम एक तो ही वॉज अमंगस्ट आई वुड से वन प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु हैड अर्न हिज मनी सी आई हैव ट्रेवल्ड ऑन द प्लेन समाइम वेन ही वॉज द पायलट and he didn't know me at that time i didn't know him at that time and he would come out of the cabin of the pilot stand there with folded hands as the customers as the passengers went out hmm so he knew how money is made what business is all about he was practical for example his first term there were many things he did for which he was being criticized to hone mulk mein log logon ko criticism karne ki aadat jal zyada hai when introduced these computers computers ke liye criticize kar diya ha you you don't know that they 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 named him and his friends computer boys but he was and, and the can the the party congress party was unhappy about it he was modernizing the offices and so on and uh, anyhow the one thing which i remember for people like me or organizations like me or any other organization he said okay if you are spending money to modernize your uh, administration which means buying computers buying this buying that all that printers this that that goes with it and uh, if you are not able to buy in this year if you set aside set aside some money that money you can charge to expenditure and buy it next year ye to the mark chahiye na phir hmm because he was a businessman himself in a way he is also an air force and, pilot uh, and uh, no, he was not air force pilot he was civil airlines okay i stand corrected civil airlines that's why i'm say talk the same business side ab rahi baat ye बदनामी उनकी जो की गई वी पी सिंह वॉज इज फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर एंड इंडियन आर्मी हैड बीन वेटिंग फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम टू बाय लॉन्ग रेंज गन्स यहां तो बनती नहीं थी इम्पोर्ट होता था सामान सारा पैसे भी कम थे एनी हाउ इंडियन आर्मी हैड जीरो इन ऑन समथिंग नोन एज बोफर्स गन विच आर स्ट्रॉन्ग स्वीडन दोज वर्ड वी बॉट एंड दोज वर्ड बॉट this ratchet vp singh was the one who declared that paise kha gaye isme se badami ho gayi prime minister ki hmm. that's how we lost the election on the uh, shor bacha the bofors ka bofors ka bofors scam ghoshit kar diya gaya whereas he knew certain thing as as uh, finance minister because rajiv gandhi i wish he had uh, opened up the whole thing hmm. but then he was a very responsible man in the parliament he said vp singh is a traitor what he has done is not right he knew certain things and he is behaved like a traitor to the country hmm. because remember every nation every nation in the world 
needs certain amount of money which is not in the budget. You can understand it. Of course. We have we had sanctions against us on nuclear things. We couldn't buy heavy water and things like that. How do we buy it? It has to be smuggled. Of course. If it has to be smuggled, how do we pay? Through money that's outside the budget. Jo kahin par hai. Hmm. The governments know it. These are controlled by the uh, top people. Aaj ki date mein bhi, everywhere, everywhere, ye MPs, MPs jaate hain bahar, inko paisa kahan se milta hai? So kai chize hain, and uh, anyhow, he was a great prime minister. Jab unke upar assassination attempt hua. तो जो मुझे खबर मिली कि आप भी सेम प्लेन में थे और आपके पास शायद वो एक रील थी जिसके अंदर या आपके पास कोई वो एविडेंस था जहाँ पे आपने उसे कवर करा वैसे था कि वो देट वॉज माई लास्ट कवरेज इन द फील्ड माई सेल्फ दिस इज दिस है कोलम्बो तो कोलम्बो में अगेन बिकॉज वॉज अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन ही न्यू ही न्यू इंडिया इज अ वेरी पावरफुल कंट्री एंड Jay Vardhane was the president of uh, Sri Lanka. He had denied the uh, Tamils food and other things on the, in their side. There, there could be famine, and they were dying. Mm-hmm. So Rajiv Gandhi ordered the Indian Air Force to drop food. Sri Lanka be ag tabai mach gayi ke Hindustan ne ye apne hawaii jaz kaise bhej di hamari they. It's like attack on uh, Sri Lanka. They have uh, attacked our sovereignty. Anyhow, first law got two people. Bad shit. Karenge, and Rajiv Gandhi was to go there to talk to him. Because the problem that the Sri Lanka government was facing was from Tamil Elam. There were people in uh, LTTE and so on. Very, uh, you will understand that. You mm-hmm. know that who wanted independence. The guerrilla forces. Ah, yeah, guerrilla forces. Who were. उनका झगड़ा चल रहे थे तो जयवर्धन ने कहा भाई मैं इनका पेशक सेपरेट प्रोविंस में बना दूंगा जो कहोगे पर ये बंद होना चाहिए ये जो है क्या आप एयर एयर से जो फूड फेंक रहे हो नहीं नहीं वो तो बंद हो गई ये ये लोग जो हैं ये एल टी टी वाले इनको बना करो इनको कंट्रोल करो हमारी फौज से कंट्रोल ही कर पा रही दिस इज वेयर Unfortunately, he played into the hands of this cunning fellow, Jawardhan. Jawardhan was a cunning fellow, and uh, anyhow, I was there in. So, जहाँ तक तो श्रीलंका था ना, so when Rajiv Gandhi arrived there, there there was complete curfew all over Sri Lanka. So we were also there to the tell and so on coverage ki. तो जिस दिन उन्होंने जान वापस आना था तो नो बडी ऑल दी जर्नलिस्ट वर स्टिल इन द होटल तो मेरे आई फेल्ट वेरी गिल्टी आई सेट आई एम आई एम नॉट द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु इज आई एम ए फील्ड जर्नलिस्ट मैंने कर 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 क्या रहा हूँ मैं यहाँ तो दे दे वॉज ए लेडीज डिप्लोमेट लक्ष्मी वाइफ ऑफ आर प्रेजेंट हरदीप पुरी आई इंटरव्यूड हर आई इंटरव्यूड हर लक्ष्मी हाउस अच्छा सो आई टो रिक्वेस्ट इन लक्ष्मी लक्ष्मी आई एम फीलिंग वेरी गिल्टी प्लीज सम हाउ गेट मी टू दी स्पॉट शी सदे प्रेम जी मैं चलो मैं चलती हूँ आपके साथ सो वी वेंट टू देर एंड देन आई वॉक विद दी प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट्स वेर वेन दम्प्ट वॉज बेड ऑन इज लाइफ एंड आई गॉट दी होल कवरेज एनी हाउ अब जो अफसरों की होती है कोशिश बोथ साइड्स की तो दे वांटेड टू से नथिंग एज एपर्ट ताकि हल्ला ना मचे नथिंग एज एपर्ट रिलेशनशिप खराब ना हो जाए एनी भाव बिकॉज दिस वाज डन बाय ये ब्लडी नेवी मैन और अगर इफ आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैड नॉट बीन एज यंग एज राजीव गांधी वाज यू वुड हैव बीन किल्ड 
because mm-hmm. all he did was did this and the the gun hit his shoulder oh, so he was wounded but not mortally but if he had been hit on the head his head would have gone into two pieces so you're saying he basically knew that the gun was fire, firing at him and he just no no tried the, that the, the, the this fellow was going to he saw that no so he did this and it hit him on the shoulder so when we were in the plane all these reporters you, know, you give it to us we will pay you so much so forget it i am not here to sell a story if you guys want to know what happened i will tell you that everybody can get that hmm. so there was a press party of nearly 30 people who were traveling with him there so i was telling them that and suddenly uh, the information advisor to the prime minister comes and says hey prem prakash what are you trying to do here i said what am i trying to do i'm just telling them what has happened there nothing happened there i said come on so anyhow before i could say there was another journalist uh binod mishra he got up and went to the prime minister and said look uh, your information advisor is harassing prem prakash is not right hmm. so prime minister came and he asked me to prep him ji aur mai saath aap so i went with him to his cabin and i put my hand there and i said my god this is a yeah yes it's very painful khun nikal raha tha unke yahan se no, khun nahi itna mota robda ho gaya tha itna mota robda ho gaya tha hmm. it was very painful so uh, there was a guy named subramaniam who was the uh, secretary uh, internal security he was also traveling to so, rajiv gandhi was a Uh, as good a technocrat himself, so he immediately saw all the whole video on the camera. Hmm. So those days you could play back the video on the camera itself. So he saw that is yes, this you're right. Uh, this could have uh, so mega sir, you you have escaped. Whether you accept it or not, you have escaped only because you were young. You you ducked. If you hadn't ducked, because that is a normal training given to the army men. when there are no bullets how to use the butt of the gun to kill people hmm. so that's the story and uh, was the was the video eventually published or no oh yes you see oh that idiot was this subramaniam he took took it away bad bad kya bhai as a matter prime minister ko bahar nahi jaane dunga pehle mera video mere wapas karo The prime minister told him, "Give him the, give it back to him. He'll give you a copy. We want, we want a copy. He'll give you a copy. You can make a copy." He said, "I said, sir, I will give him a copy, but he, this is not the way to do it." अब ये चीज़ें तो मैं कर सकता था ना? आज के लोग घबराते हैं कि करते हुए क्यों घबराते हो भाई तुम? You follow me now? Yes, I do. I do very well. So <laughs> this is was your last time in the field. Then you. move to a more agency model by both moved both words uh, then i decided to take retirement i to went away to england i was expanding the subscriber list of uh, ani this that and then i was doing other things hmm. do you still not i mean up to what time ho gaya but at that time when you retired aapko mann nahi karta tha field mein jaane ka no 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 aadat pad jati raha aadmi ko chhod diya punjabi ch kehte hain jab chhadya grah to da nala ki na ये पंजाबी सही नहीं है और तो आई टू कैन ट्रस्ट इट वेरियस अदर थिंग्स एंड देन आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग दिस बुक्स एंड दैट्स इट एंड दैट्स हाउ लाइफ इज ट्रांसपायर्ड बट देन अच्छा उसके बाद बी इट्स नॉट लाइक यू नो इंडिया डेंट हैव अदर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ दैट इंडिया हैड मेनी मोर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स वन ऑफ योर पिक्चर्स इन द बुक इज विद अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी समवन आई कैन एक्चुअली प्रोफेस टू रिमेंबर एंड इवन सी ऑन स्क्रीन आई वाज बोर्न इन 97 right so i'm very 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 young to who you are to to your age what was he like in person was he more he was a very good very great man himself yeah all of them great throughout that's main what to, i main to aap se keh raha hu ki hamari hum hamara mulk bada khush kismat raha hai that other than a very inefficient prime minister like vp singh hmm ye he was not a common man that fellow was a 
किसी छोटी सी स्टेट का या कोई गांव शाँव का होगा उसका राजा था अच्छा और वो अपने आप को राजा साहब कहलाता था अब तू कहाँ का राजा बन गया भाई वो राजा साहब कहलाता था अपने आप में आरिस्टोक्रेटिक ट्रेड्स थी जो देश को जिसमें करने के लिए हाँ बस सो ही वॉज द ओनली वन हु वॉज उसकी वजह से इन ऑर्डर टू रिमेन इन पावर उसने ये बंडल का प्रॉब्लम खड़ी कर दी यंग पीपल हैड टू बर्न दम इन डेली वैन यू वेरी ब्रॉड अबाउट दिस ह्यूज रिजर्वेशन फॉर अदर बैकवर्ड कास्ट एंड दो एंड सो फोर्थ क्या गड़बड़ नहीं की उसने क्या मुसीबतें नहीं छोड़ गया वो हिंदुस्तान के लिए ऑल बिकॉज टू रिमेन इन पावर हिमसेल्फ एंड देन इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट यू गॉड वाच पाई जब आप उनसे मिले उनके इंटरव्यूज करे आपने तो उस वक्त भारत की सिचुएशन भी क्या हो रही थी क्योंकि उस टाइम तो कांग्रेस बहुत समय तक पावर में थी कांग्रेस उस वक्त बहुत समय तक पावर में थी और वाजपेयी वगैरह इमर्ज कर रहे थे एज वुड वुड बी बाय दैट टाइम थिंग्स हैड चेंज इन द सेंस दैट सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ लिबरलाइजेशन हैड कम अबाउट सो थिंग्स वर चेंजिंग फास्ट बिजनेस मैन वर गेटिंग नाउ फ्रीडम टू डू बिजनेस everything was moving ahead gurgaon grew up very fast hmm. now it's unrecognizable practically unrecognizable ab gurgaon grew up to very fast but what happened i won't mention the names of the bjp guys are tumhe zarurat kya thi 6 6 mahine pehle election karne ki they called for election 6 months before it was due वाजपेई वॉज नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ दैट और इन्होंने उसका रखा शाइनिंग इंडिया टेरिबल स्लोगन इंडिया शाइनिंग आई रिमेंबर हाँ टेरिबल स्लोगन बिकॉज ओके लॉट ऑफ गाइज फ्रॉम बाइसिकल हैड मूव ऑन टू स्कूटर्स बट दोज गाइज ऑन स्कूटर्स हैड नॉट मूव ऑन टू कार्स एज एट इंडिया वॉज लार्जली लोअर मिडिल क्लास सो इट वॉज नॉट शाइनिंग फॉर दैम बट what had happened is that a new lower middle class had risen during vajpayee's time and the middle class was also rising that's why they lost election tal mel baith nahi paya voters ke sath <laughs> kaise baithega kaise baithega acha is waqt pe ab now you know we are in the early 2000s so now you've seen योर वे ऑफ जर्नलिज्म आपने यू डिड ऑल द हार्ड वर्क अभी हम बात कर रहे थे हम कि आपने किस तरह कैमराज दस दस किलो के उठाए बारह बारह किलो के उठाए एंड नाउ द किड्स हैव इट सो ईजी यू ऑल्सो सॉ द स्टेट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म चेंज सो मच डेंट यू कि आप देख रहे थे कि अब नए तरह का जर्नलिज्म आ रहा है यू नो पर्सनैलिटीज बन रही हैं ऐसे है थिंग्स डू चेंज विद ई जनरेशन समथिंग हैपन्स अब आज की डेट में ऐसा पसंद करते हैं लोग तो उसका हम क्या करें अब ये जो रिपोर्टिंग होती है शाम को टेलीविजन के ऊपर इज दैट रिपोर्टिंग नो इट्स नॉट आई थिंक इवन आप किसी भी जनरेशन से हर को एग्री कर सकता है नॉट रिपोर्टिंग एट ऑल इट इज कंप्लीट सेंसेशनलिस्ट वो सेंसेशन एंड दैट व्यू ओपिनियन है ओपिनियंस हैं ये इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच न्यूज यू कैन ओनली गो टू डू दर्शन स्टिल यार इन्फॉर्मेशन बुलेटिन तो उस पर भी आता है ऑल इंडिया रेडियो पे मैं कभी कभी सुनता हूँ हाँ वही वही है और हाँ. कुछ नहीं है बाकी तो न्यूज है ही नहीं ओके नाउ वी आर लकी आल्सो थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग दैट यू ट्विटर दिस दैट एंड दैट सो दिस सो मच अवेलेबल थिंग्स आर चेंजिंग डोंट चेंज वेरी फास्ट ऑल्सो अगेन बट वी विल स्टिल रिमेन रेलिवेंट आई कैन टेल यू दैट एज अ कंट्री नो एज एज जर्नलिस्ट हाउ सो एब्सोलूटली विदाउट लाइन्स ब्लर नहीं कर रही आज देखो मैं मैंने एडवर्टाइजिंग की डिग्री करी है रिलीजन और एडवर्टाइजिंग की डिग्री करी है मैं आपको बैठ के इंटरव्यू ले रहा हूँ मेरी जर्नलिस्टिक ट्रेनिंग जीरो के बराबर है मेरी तो जर्नलिस्ट की ट्रेनिंग है ही नहीं लेकिन फिर भी आपने एज एन ऑफिशियल जर्नलिस्ट काम तो करा है मेरी तो मेरी तो ट्रेनिंग थी ही नहीं उस बारे में स्कूल ही कहाँ थे ये तो खाम खा खड़े किए गए हैं बेसिकली वट जर्नलिस्ट शुड रियली नो इज लॉट ऑफ हिस्ट्री लॉट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स नॉट पॉलिटिक्स नॉट करंट अफेयर्स वो तो आप सीख जाते हैं साथ ही में करंट अफेयर्स यू नो डे बाई डे 
Hmm. Then as you go along, as you go along, and what would you say to field journalists? Because now, high, this is a profession. But today, people want to go and go and go as bigger interviewers, as TV personalities, as opposed to field okay, journalists. Okay, that, that, that's that's a class by itself. Now you are a uh, class by yourself. You are different kind of uh, person. You 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 have your own followers. So hmm. that's all right. You are a channel yourself in a way. You are a channel yourself in a way. You have you have your own followers. But it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's not that no. it's not that you are just a reporter. You are not a reporter. Hmm. I don't recognize you as a reporter. You are I'm not. You are talking to me and reporting what I am just saying. But basically, you are a well-educated journalist. You would still categorize me as a journalist. Yes. Even though I would call myself a YouTuber. और वो पॉडकास्टर अब वो आप जो मर्जी नाम ले लो बट वो आप अपने लिए जो मर्जी नाम रख लो उसका मैं क्या इलाज हमारी एलिजेंस जनता की तरफ थोड़ी है उतनी ज्यादा जितनी हमारी है कि हमारे ऑडियंस को कुछ मजेदार मिलने है कुछ भाई आपकी जनता के साथ है वो जो लोग देख रहे हैं आपको आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी यू हैव फॉलो 8864000 वो जो 8 लाख लोग हैं वो जनता ही तो है कौन है जी ये ये जो अखबार वाले हैं जिनके अखबार की सर्कुलेशन पाँच लाख तीन लाख चार लाख होती है तो वो जनता ही तो है ना तो आपके भी तो आठ लाख हैं तो यू कॉन्ट से दैट यू डोंट हैव नहीं है लेकिन मैं उनको इस तरह से नहीं बोल दिया कि आगे बढ़ेगी वो एज यू ग्रो ग्रो फर्दर डेवलप फर्दर बढ़ेगी वो आगे नहीं पर हम उनको इस तरह नहीं देखते कि इनको हमें रिपोर्टिंग करके लेके आने देश भर में क्या चल रहा है उसकी तो आप उनको क्या दिखाना चाहते हो हम आप मुझसे इंटरव्यू कर रहे हो वट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटरव्यू फॉर दैम टेल बी दैट नाउ You are arguably probably the best living journalist in the country. Your stories are valuable. No, but what exactly you are telling them at the moment? Well, I am te- I'm sh- I'm showcasing all the stories through your means to give them a glimpse of history. The glimpse of history, yeah, huh? na. So you are doing that. <laughs> I so, caught so, myself there. <laughs> so you you this is what you have to do with others also. Hmm. And what would be your advice to all? I would not even say journalists, broadcasters. और और जो यंग लोग हैं जो इसके अंदर आ रहे हैं जिनको लगता है कि यार इतनी कंटेस्टेड फील्ड है मैं कैसे स्टैंड आउट कर सकता हूं या कर सकती हूं विद योर ओन वर्क इन ए कॉम्पिटेटिव वर्ल्ड यू हैव टू स्टैंड विद योर ओन हाउ वेल यू डू इट दैट्स इट सो फोकस ऑन क्वालिटी फोकस ऑन ओरिजिनलिटी एंड फैक्ट्स 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 बी इन द फील्ड If you are आप पूरे अपने फैक्ट्स पढ़ लें प्रॉपरली अच्छी तरह से डो बडी कैन बीट यू एंड वॉट इज योर लाइफ लाइक नाउ अब तो आपने ये किताब लिखी है नाउ यू नो आई मीन आई एम थॉर्ली इन जॉइंग माई लाइफ इन द सेंस दैट आई एम एट द मोमेंट डूइंग अ लॉर ऑफ रिसर्च ऑन दाइटल ऑफ द नेक्स्ट बुक इज अन नोन अनसंग मार्ट <coughs> Martyrs of Indian Independence. Hmm. Now, India's independence hasn't come only with the efforts of Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Congress. The biggest uh, contribution in that has been by all, all other people. Bhagat Singh. Bhagat Singh was the one who said, "We don't want dominion status." Congress and Gandhi ji wanted dominion status up to that time. Mm. It is Bhagat Singh, and then in Lahore, thirtieth uh, December nineteen thirty, just before he was hanged, when the Congress meeting was taking place in Lahore, Pandit ji when he raised the flag of Congress, he said, "Our aim now is complete independence." But it was Bhagat Singh who forced this decision. So there are the scores of them, scores of them, who were hanged, who were sacrificed, who were no. Who were, you see, Azadi ke baad just kisi ne hamari likhi hai about uh, independence. We have forgotten them. It's not done. So that's why journalism at the moment I'm trying to research and find out as many as I can 
and bring them out in that book. Mm. What all they contributed, how they managed, what they did. Look at this uh, Indian National Army. Mm. They had women brigade. Women fought for Indian uh, independence. You know, Atli was asked this after India's independence. He was staying in uh, Calcutta at the governor's house. Who? Atli? Atli. Atli. The prime minister, last prime minister of England. Okay. Who had given independence to India. Okay. And uh, so he was asked whether uh, he couldn't handle Gandhi and uh, Congress. Why did he have to surrender India? He said Gandhi and Congress were minimal. It was not because of them that he gave them. He said Congress had nothing uh, planned in terms of agitation at that time. Uh. You see, last agitation of the Congress and Gandhi ji was in 1942 when they gave a call for quit India. After that, they were just bureaucrats themselves. After that, they went to jail. They went out of jail. The English government gave them a check. How to... Because then they wanted to create Pakistan. That's a different story. That's a different story altogether. Of course. Ah. So, and he said that the reason we had to concede is that Indian army was a very efficient army. And the whole of India was singing and praising Indian National Army. It's very surprising because we don't Indian National Army ki kadar bhi nahi karte jab hum log independence ki baat karte hai. We often only add it to Gandhi. I have said that we have at least said that look, we made a mistake by putting those three INA officers on trial in. Uh, Red Fort, hmm. and uh, that got a huge publicity all over India, which had its impact on the officers of Indian Army. That here is Indian Army, which had turned the tide of war in Europe against Rommel, against Germans, and that army was not being respected in its own home for its achievements, whereas the these guys who had uh, gone uh, betrayed, they were being, and the net result was that they had to release those three officers. Right. And he said, then thereafter, the mutiny happened in uh, uh, Navy in Bombay. So these things, are, these are the things which led to, for the British to decide he said, we had only 40,000 British troops in India at that time. And if anything had happened, any uprising had taken place, we wouldn't have been able to crush it. And we decided that we leave it at a time at proper that we can continue to do protect our interests, which they did by creating Pakistan and by continuing to sell weapons to us. Ye to ab humne zyada weapons lane shuru kiye hain. Paisa to wo banate rahe, us liye aaye the wo, us liye karte rahe. My God. It's never even crossed my mind. Because hum India ke independence struggle ke andar kisi aur ko hi attribute karte hain. Mostly because they were the signing authorities. Unho ne dastakat ho gara kare. Par agar... UK का प्राइम मिनिस्टर ये कह रहा है कि हम इंडियन आर्मी से डरते हैं तो ये अपने आप में एक एक अनसंग फैक्ट है देखिए 1857 में पिटाई हो गई थी नहीं हो गई थी जी नहीं पर रेवेलियन तो क्रश कर दिया क्या था या पर दैट दैट वाज अ डिफरेंट काइंड दैट अनफॉर्चूनेटली बिकेम नॉट अपराइजिंग ओनली ऑफ द आर्मी दैट बिकेम अपराइजिंग ऑफ आल्सो द सिविलियंस नोबिलिटी लाइक द Dying uh, regime of Mughals. Mm. Uh, Bahadur Shah Zafar, what position thi, yaar? <laughs> You mean he was going to be restored to be the emperor of India? No. But then he was there. Tha, 
टाइटल दे रखा था उसको अंग्रेज पैसा देते थे सो दीज आर दी थिंग्स यू गोट टू नीड टू स्टडी हमारी इंडिपेंडेंस के बाद वी हैव नॉट गिवन ट्रू क्रेडिट टू वेयर इट बिलोंग्स येस कांग्रेस हैज वर्कर्स हैव ऑल्सो सफर्ड कांग्रेस वर्कर्स हैव ऑल्सो डन थिंग्स बट ओनली अप टू नॉन कोऑपरेशन फोर्टी टू के बाद इनके पास कोई प्रोग्राम नहीं था you know um this is probably the first time in my career i've been flummoxed so much and mera to muh khula ka khul raha hai zyada aapki kahaniyan sun ke aaj aksar aksar main bahut hazir jawab hota hu kuch kehne ko hoti hai ek tadakedar baat uh lekin prem prakash ji aapke aapke waqt ke liye aapke tajurbe ke liye aapka bahut bahut dhanyawad thank you very much and uh, I I urge all my listeners and watchers to go read Reporting India my 75 my 70 year journey as a journalist Prem Prakash written by Prem Prakash himself and aap logo ko insights milengi because I think when we typically think about history or journalism in the country hum log 5 saal ke 10 saal ke accounts unke khush ho jate hain but this is a book spanning 70 years this and ye aapko sari history degi of the last days of the british and then all the important events that have hit india and all first person accounts first person accounts. i i witness account matlab main to ye sochta hu ki aapke ye kadam duniya bhar ke kin kin jahazon mein kin kin auditoriums mein kin kin government buildings mein aapke kadam kahan kahan le gaye hain aapko sab jagah le gaye nahi matlab log aap jitne well traveled ho shayad aur koi itna hoga nahi not that i know of ji 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 but anyway thank you so much aapke waqt ke liye and uh, the, 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 the also the other book about afghanistan ji same thing there in the uh, whole of afghanistan wo bhi badi zabardast cheez hai theek hai bilkul log kyon ke you see jitne bhi western writers hai na now i am trying to tell you about something i hope i am not taking no 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 of course not jitne bhi western writers hain unhone aaj tak nahi kaha they always say afghans cannot be subjugated are bhaiya afghans were subjugated by ranjit singh ranjit singh captured afghanistan ranjit singh had a cap- victory march through uh, kabul ranjit singh went to ghazni brought back the doors of somnath temple from there Ranjit Singh annexed Peshawar Valley. Ranjit Singh annexed Khyber Pass. Ranjit Singh annexed all those Pakhtun Pashtun areas. These are all areas of Afghanistan. And the first two Anglo-Afghan wars were for fought why? Why? अब ये तो तब तब तो मैं कहता हूँ कि आज के जनरेस को पहले हिस्ट्री पढ़नी चाहिए अच्छी तरह से. Why? Why? because afghans immediately said wait a minute ranjit singh is gone give us back our territories peshawar used to be the winter capital of uh, afghanistan so they wanted their, their territory back so two wars were fought and then what used to be ranjit singh line became durand line mm-hmm. and wait a minute you see now what is happening even though there is supposed to be in power in kabul a group taliban the taliban but a, a group of among the, 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 the taliban which is pro pakistan but there have been already seven fights along the border because they are also going to demand give us back our territory so okay. you they you want wait. to restore their historic homeland uh, so you wait it. you wait and see what happens between them and pakistan also in due course so this is something else you written the afghanistan book or is ha ha acha okay this is i didn't i didn't come across it when i was looking you up theek hai what is it called i'll give it to you just now okay great fantastic yeah. uh, but this illuminating maine to hamesha suna hai bhai aaye hum pe aakraman kara hamara saman leke chale gaye ulta maine kabhi nahi suna war अब आपने ऑलरेडी कह दिया हिस्ट्री पर रंजीत रंजीत सिंह डिड इट नॉट ओनली रंजीत सिंह एम एस शाह अब्दाली वॉज 
केम हेयर जी वेंट अप टू मराठा एरिया एंड वेन वॉज गोइंग बैक यू वॉज टेकिंग अवे सब लाइक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वेमेन एंड चिल्ड्रेन जसा सिंह आलूवालिया ही बीट द हेल आउट ऑफ हेम ऑन द वे एंड लिबरेटेड ऑल दोज वेमेन एंड चिल्ड्रेन रिस्टोर दैम बैक टू देर विलेजेस हमारे सरदार जो है ना खालसा इनकी बड़ी बड़ी सेक्रीफाइस हैं दे आर नॉट स्मॉल पीपल I think we have an error in only remembering history that is relevant to us for the next last five, ten years. जितना बस काम चलाने के लिए मिल जाए उतना बहुत है. गलत बात है ना फिर. गलत बात है. गलत बात है. Okay, it was uh, nice talking to you. It was my pleasure and, and sincerely uh, an honor to be in front of you. आप तो कहते हो I did nothing, but if it मैं बड़ी honestly बोल रहा हूँ अगर आपकी contributions ना होती तो शायद हम इतने ये जो आप जिन cameras को आप toys बोल रहे थे शायद हम इनको आज use करके ये सब ना कर पाए तो आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया. Thank you. Thank God you so much. You. I wish you all the success. Thank you so much, Prem Ji. Means a lot.